In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best motion design and animation from the last couple of months. There has been so much amazing motion design work recently. Here's some of the work that I've just found really inspiring that I think needs sharing and hopefully introduce you to some new studios and new artists that do just incredible work. If you'd like me to continue making these showcases, please like the video that really helps the channel and leave a comment with your favorite of the bunch or something that I've missed to include next time. And to learn some of these motion design skills, please consider subscribing as well. Let's start with some of the awesome animation I missed from the last video. Bespoke Like by Isha Yoon. In the description, they describe this as a light test for one of their commercial projects. And it is just the most captivating use of colors that I've seen in a long time. This is just hypnotizing. I love this. Planimation by Eve Gillen. This is just a beautiful combination of 3D and 2D animation, and it has such an elegant story for what is essentially it's an ad for a cancer drug and a treatment plan. It is so touching, it feels just like a short film. And now on to the newer stuff. Gibbon Animation and Aussie Animation Studio animated the music video for Closer by Mannerism. And it is just full with these most gorgeous background paintings with the most subtlest animation. It really makes you look closer. And I think it's a really good reminder that great animation isn't necessarily more animation. Sarah Sona directed the music video for the song DMT by Stacy, And this is just such a fun combination of psychedelic collage and textures. And I just love the sort of 60s, 70s aesthetic. They really nail this and interweave so much of the footage and the graphics as well. It's, it's really great. And we've got another music video. Nick Dembo had directed this one for Dead Mouse and Neptune song Pomegranate. And if you're familiar with his work, this is just another chaotic and absurd, but always hilarious romp through insane environments. And it's 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 hard to not have fun just watching this ridiculousness. I, I love it. Super Monks created this animated spot for ProtoPie called Free Your Ideas. And it's another ad that feels like a short film. It's just got so much beautiful design and a lovely story about sharing your ideas with the world, which just, you know, makes me want to buy a software product. Patrick D has directed this Mist Connections animation, and it's essentially an animated Craigslist Mist contact form about a woman who finds a prosthetic limb on a train and searches out the man for it. But Patrick said this in a sci-fi world, and there's so many amazing details and world building in the background that just that elevate this to an exceptional level. It really reminds me of Midnight Gospel as well, where they've taken this audio and then just animated this insane world behind it. It's glistening from the summer humidity. It smelled of pine and... The Dink created this experimental short called Brushes, which is just this spectacularly rendered 3D exploration of movement and personality of household items, and it's just so satisfying to watch. Tendril have done another spectacular spot for Microsoft, and just everything about this is eye candy. And I love the new ways they've found to represent a 2D user interface within 3D space. It's always refreshing to see how you can tackle these problems in a new way. Love Me, Fear Me by Veronica Solomon is a gorgeous claymation short with so much fluid movement, masterful morphing, and creates these beautiful smear frames which mimic the motion blur in clay. And just an expert use of weight and texture in these models as well. It, it feels and looks amazing. Parts of a Plant by Natalie Maneva is just a super cute and charming educational animation about plants and pollen and it's just so nice and pleasing to look at. I, I love this design. This helps plants spread and grow in new areas. Right Now by Giant Ant proves without a shadow of a doubt they are at the top tier of animation and storytelling. And this might be the greatest example of the peak of modern motion design and animation. The design is fantastically stylized and detailed with beautiful lighting in particular. The composition is incredible and the animation is flawless, but it's the story that is so poignant and relevant now that takes this to the next level when we thought we were already at the rooftop. I'd be very surprised if anything can top this this year. Every frame of this is incredible.
Dima Mazaikin directed this spot for Adobe and Keith Haring called Creativity for All. It is just a great combination of mixed media, 2D animation, and it's so effortlessly cool. And effortlessly because that's what it feels like. But I know, and you can tell that there are hundreds, probably thousands of hours went into this and it really paid off. Inequality. All with a deceptively simple line. A bold line. Detroit released this spot for Pantene's new nutrient blends, and there's almost a genre now of cool 3D shapes and elements to represent freshness and smell and all the things you can't communicate visually. And this is just a masterful example. It is so clean. Reshaping Design by Alan Lasseter, who is one of my biggest motion design idols, created this stunning piece full of wonderful gradients, colors, and textures that all work together so exceptionally. And this was to promote an excellent community project for Nashville Design Week. Current standards for what good design is and serve as a platform for all design voices. Alan Resnick released a video called What Codec Should I Use for Adult Swim? And there's not a lot of animation in this, but I had to share it. It sort of blends the line between short film and tutorial as well. The closest thing I could compare it to is Captain Disillusion meets Tim and Eric, and it's just so beautiful and hilarious and accurate. So you will learn what you need to learn about codecs if you do stick around to the end. Project Spiral by Bernd Bussard is an animated short that is just so expertly paced with such precise design and composition that gives it this epic scale. And of course, Bernd is a great friend of the channel. He broke down some of his super simple techniques in After Effects to create some of these shots in a tutorial a while back on this channel. So I can't thank Bernd enough for sharing his knowledge here. And this final project turned out awesome. Gabriel and Sergio Twardowski directed this video for Alot called Memories. And this is an insane feat of animation using concert photos to create this stop motion short. And in the description, they say it took four months of research on 30 terabytes of materials to create this sequence. And I wouldn't even know where to start with a project like this. This is so fantastically executed. Clark did a new spot for MailChimp called Momentum, and I just love this scratchy, pencil, charming, lo-fi look the MailChimp has here. And then there's so much amazing camera moves and perspectives at the end of the shot as well, which works so well. Know that your ideas will flow again. And Buck Sydney Studio created a bunch of great spots for Sydney water with this exceptional water texture that morphs between solid and liquid so wonderfully. Faces and places. And cricket ball chasers. It's amazing what water can do. Doug Alberts released a video called The Enneagram. And this is just a wonderfully designed visualization of the nine personality types. And the way he visualizes these concepts so minimally, so creative and clever. It's really inspiring. And again, another example of that less is sometimes more. It's Got Stealth released an amazing teaser trailer for their animated series called Samurai Unicorn. It has this PlayStation 1 graphic style that looks so accurate and just takes me back to the late 90s video games that I used to play. And they've just launched a Patreon for this project. So if you'd like to see more of this animation, like I do, and you want to support independent animation, they've got some great perks as well. So do consider supporting on Patreon because I want to watch as much of this as they can put in front of my eyeballs. What's our next move? I'm gonna kill the Dream Eaters. And now onto some of the best short loops and posts on Instagram that I absolutely loved. Aaron Quinn shared his breakdown for the title sequence for Pandora's new show, Yeah That Happened. And I just love seeing rough frame by frame animation that have so many transitions in it. This is really inspiring and I love his work. <laughs> Eva Kremers created this short loop for Business Week of this sad airplane, and this is just fantastic. I love everything about this design. This is wonderful. I might even buy a small model toy of this if that was available. Fabian Morrison created this awesome loop of what he says is what it's like for him to try to meditate, which I can definitely relate to, trying to focus on one thing and my mind going everywhere. And this is so amazing. I love the smears. I love the symmetry. This is so good. Eve Paradis created this amazing animated mural. I love seeing animation make its way into the physical world like this. So this is just awesome to see. 
Brogan Vandenberg released this just adorable little loop of these rainbow characters, which I just absolutely love the design of this. This is so creative. I would never think to make a rainbow out of three sausage people. This is close to perfection for me. Will Peach created this absolutely amazing cell animation loop. And this was done all straight ahead using TV paint. And I just love the gradient textures that are in here for the shading. It's so mesmerizing to watch and such an amazing color scheme too. Carolyn Gu released this amazing loop, which is part of a project that never saw the light of day. And this is just amazing. I love the transitions. Great morphs, great design. This is wonderful. And Anna Tuberco released this amazing UFO loop. I love UFOs. I love when design has such harsh, dark shadows like this. This is amazing. Dare I say, out of this world. If you'd like to learn animation and motion design techniques, I've got a playlist of some of the best tutorials on this channel for you to take a look at. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.